What's up, guys? I'm back. I decided to not waste any time, so I'm already down here in Javier's Cantina. Uh, this should be the last part that I'm on Taurus, because I think all I gotta do is go to Davik. Uh, uh, yeah, all I did get down here was I talked to all the other duelists in the ring, and they're all like, Congratulations, you beat Mendak, and then Marl retired. And... Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what are you saying? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. I have a few things I need to take care of first. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have too much to do. I just have to claim the bounty on Bendak, and I will be good. Won't come just to chat. Davik hired me to do business and make credits, not to make small talk. I got a bounty I want to collect on. Tell him about Bendak. Here, 300 credits, that's the price for all bounties. That's bullshit. Fill up that reward. Shit. Shit, okay. Can I? Shit, okay. He didn't actually pay me for anything. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's load it there. I guess I'll try to persuade him into 400 credits, even though that seemed bullshit for all the work I went through. Got 700 in the dual ring, in the dual ring for beating him, and now I'm only getting 400 if I survive that persuade check. Which I should survive that persuade check. That's uh god damn it. I figured you'd no. Kansas. A few things to take care of first. Be right back in a second. Gotta collect some credits. Go down here I wanna collect on. And uh Take the 300, I don't care. All the information is in your data pad already, but if you don't want to look there, then I guess I can fill you in. Who do you want to know more about? You already dealt with that bounty. Solve the god, Dia god. Largo? I think that's everybody. Check my data pad. Fazic rules, escaping Taurus. Karth, Bastila, planetary information on Terrace. Fazic rules, yeah, that's everything for the bounties. I figured you'd be. Now, I know this is. So, what do you say? Are we gonna get Dalek's inside Dalek's estate? looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. Take I'll say time. I brought you in so Without we can check fail, you out. We'll He'll have you stay plan. at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking out, I like Candorus more than I like Bastila, so we're doing Tarek. this. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taris, the better. Candorus has joined your party. Candorus has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Alright, I want to bring T3 over anybody else, because Davik's estate, I believe, has some computers I need T3 for. I think 
they, things seem fine. This seems fine. That, I don't. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's a very pretty ship, though. Wish I could make it mine. How big is that thing? It's a lot smaller than a Star Destroyer, isn't it? You summon me, Lord Ma Oh God. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the, the The entire planet, Lord Malik. Why is this one cutting out? But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. See, I respect Malik. He doesn't. He wants an entire planet destroyed, but he doesn't have a big fancy super laser that'll destroy it in one blast. So he's willing to take the time necessary, though, to position an entire fleet to glass a planet. And the remains of Taurus will so still be Candorous, there. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This You're is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. As was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Good to finally meet you, Dobbick. My name's Ezra Cruz. You know, Candorous was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues Come me. With me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. Even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working. You'll stay with in these you. rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests. My security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The Cyrus, the better. All right. Huh? Candorous can level up. Not a level up. He's not leveling up too much. Up 
put you in the light combat armor because you can actually wear it. I don't know. by parts and credits. What? No problem. Got hey! It. What's the idea? Pudu, Tony Rama Nap. Hey, baby, wait. I, I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off. No need to call uh -uh. the guards nope. here. I just got lost. Alright, fine. <laughs> Shows this. You chose me missing a lot, Jen. You don't hit with crap, do you? That'll show you. That was a Rodian scream for an Aqualish guard. Okay. That hurt, I bet. Wow. Am I over leveled? Straight in the ground. Just by the Three, you go. Your life is too. Your life is worth too much. Flip. I will, in fact, do that. Alright. Barracks storage. Barracks hangar. Can't gas that room. The spice lab. Ooh. You got some interesting places to visit. The guest room. Oh, shit. That's somebody I should go and save. The hangar. Open all security doors. Disable hangar security. Log out. Here's the Dovik's throne room. Go down this way real quick, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be somebody else. No like, these are going to be other guest rooms, and then the slave quarters is down this way. No problem. Got it. Deposit card and a hair trigger. No problem. Got it. God, Gearhead was a good perk to get. More deposit cards, credits, and a data pad. What does that data pad say? New items. This data pack contains a record of Kalinor's trophy kills, sentient and otherwise. The last entry is an account of the recent Rancor hunt. This is Kalinor's room? Alright. I'll take some time to read that in a moment. No problem. Got it. Who are you? Why are you here? Get out or me call guards. Eat your time. 
<laughs> Settle down, I'm going. Alright. He doesn't actually care. I'm gonna steal his stuff. Five credits, a computer spike, and some parts. Later. See, he didn't have to die. Nobody has to die whenever I'm in charge. They just choose to die. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Uh, As you wish, Master. Right you will find this most relaxing if... I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills job? from previous clients. You truly Thank are you an expert in sir. your craft. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? Uh, oh no, that would get bad. But uh, what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden. Tell me what I want to know, and I'll tell Davik how pleased I was with your I'm performance. I'm sorry. Uh, I won't. Fifty credits. I'm sorry. I Come on. I'm sorry. I Praise from the this guest has, is a valuable okay. commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Even Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Udro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. I think you Where's can the get there through chamber? the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. Thank you. You were very useful. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the female slaves could serve your needs better? Yep, they offer hand jobs. Welcome to the Would you... Of course. Are we going now? She's just going to tell me everything else. Some more computer spikes, credits, and parts. Alright. Does that door lead to an elevator? Because I can't see it leading anywhere else. If it doesn't lead directly into slave quarters. Alright, so this is north. Disable that mine. Give me. Computer spikes and parts. I need a lot of parts. I'm starting to not regret that droid as much. This leads to the Evan Hawk, don't it? I believe this leads to the Evan Hawk. I want to go... Yeah, that's the south of the, of the throne room, so... We got a nice little chair in here. Not as many seats as you'd expect for people to attend a throne. Hello, Trandoshan Slayer. Okay. I don't remember this many races whenever I played this in console form. That's good. Grab 
credits. Eh, not too many credits, but enough. You're dead under a table. Computer pass card. No problem. Got it. Whose room am I in now? Security spike, vibro blade, frag grenade, some armor reinforcement, a heavy blaster, and an advanced med pack. Moving over to this side, I will get 500 credits. This is prime loot. Hello. You want to stop that? No, don't do that. Don't miss. Stop missing, please. Please stop missing. <laughs> Why? Uh, you can use the mouse to select eligible targets while in combat. While in combat, only hostiles are targetable. Thank you for that. I don't know why it's necessary now. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Uh... Question? It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. All right. So who drove us? We've free? got what we came for. We should get going. Do Kenners always have that lazy eye, or is that something new that just popped up? I don't remember seeing it in the last few episodes. I don't. Hello, guys. Take some of your spice. Take a med pack. I'll take a med pack. That's all I can take. T3, you are not looking good there, buddy. Yeah? What? Anders automatic if he doesn't know why I wasted a med pack on him. I should go back to that security console and disable all the security, because I don't think I need a spike anymore to get past it. And I do have some spikes that I can use to maybe gas a room or something just to get me past here without any more fights. So I'm going to have to fight Davik and Kala Nord in a minute. Use access card. Access system commands. Disable hangar security. Uh, I don't want to overload the terminal. Return to root menu. Access security cameras. Uh, hangar. Whoa. Root menu. Guest room. Uh, barrack storage. Uh, Alright. I don't think there's any other 
places that I can do, so I'll save my spikes. There is a room with three guards, or two guards and a Duros over here. I don't need to upload schematics, I've got plenty of schematics. I've basically unveiled this entire map by myself. What's up, boys? Uh, let's do a sonic grenade, since sonic grenades can really do some damage. Sonic grenade can mess up an organic. Why not? Okay. I thought I was aiming at the Rodian, was I not? Everybody is a Rodian. Everybody is voiced by a Rodian. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or later. Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bomb's dead drop and will kill us all. Kill Davik. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those Sith. They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Davik's war suit, heavy blaster, Arcanian, and Davik's visor. God damn. Fuck me. Get on, get on. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Has that always done damage? <laughs> is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Vitality points VP to note character health. They increase every level modified by constitution.
Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Those codes and send us off to a new planet, please. We get some good size comparisons of the Leviathan versus like a Star Destroyer, but do we ever get any that's a. Down to Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on the surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and should recuperate. Be safe here for now. The academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Alrighty, and now we are finally on Dantooine off of Taurus. Dantooine may take a little while, but I don't think it's going to take nearly as long as Taurus did. But that is all the time I have for now anyway, so I will be calling it quits for here, and I will see you all in the next video. So if you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe, ring that bell to keep up to date with notifications, and leave a comment if you want to tell me how good, how bad I'm doing, what you want to see me play next, or if you just have anything particularly just want to say and I will see you all in the big in the next video later